Good day. For today's video, we are going to discuss Quarter 4, Physical Education 10. Cheer Dance, Benefits, Common Injuries, and Safety Precaution. Introduction. Cheer Dance is from the words, cheer, and dance. To cheer is to shout out words, or phrases that may help motivate, and boost the morale of a playing team, and perform during a game. Dance, on the other hand, is a physical activity where one expresses emotions, or gestures while performing bodily movements usually in time with rhythm. Cheer dancing originated from cheerleading which is the performance of a routine, usually dominated by gymnastic skills such as jumps, tumbling skills, lifts and tosses combined with shouting of cheers, and yells to lead the crowd to cheer for a certain team during a game, or sports activity. It originated in the United States. Health Benefits of Cheer Dance Letter A. Healthy Level of Fitness Determining fitness level depends on how you define fitness and your goals. People typically define fitness by an ability to perform something well, or with ease. If you can do a desired task with ease then you have reached your ideal level of fitness. Letter B. Strength Training Cheerleading is a whole body workout. You will build strength by rehearsing weekly, particularly in your lower body, shoulders and core. Letter C. Coordination. Coordination is a key element of cheerleading. You will improve your ability to learn routines, and perform them in time with your teammates. Letter D. Flexibility. Stretching exercises within each class will develop your flexibility, increasing your range of movement. This will help improve your high kicks, jumps, and tumbles within the sequences. Letter E. Improved posture. Cheer dancing helps cheerleaders with their posture. Most cheerleading exercises require lots of flexibility that stretch all areas of the back which will result in good posture. Letter F. Team building. Teamwork is what hold cheerleaders together. They tumble, go to nationals, and work through the ups and downs of the time. That is what makes good teamwork. Teamwork in sport presents a variety of special challenges and satisfactions. It requires an integration of talents and contributions from individual team members, which is a practical achievement, and it represents a shared pursuit, which is a moral achievement, Gaffney. Letter G. Confidence. Cheerleading is an amazing sport that will absolutely improve your confidence. The more you cheer in front of a crowd, the more your perfect new skills, and the more you help your teammates, your confidence will grow. Letter H. Team player and leadership skills. Performing and practicing as part of a team is vital for cheerleading in order to complete sequences in unison and support stunts and tumbles. It can also improve leadership skills by building confidence to speak up for the good of the team. Learning to listen to both teammates and the instructor is crucial for undertaking tumbles and stunts safely. These are great transferable skills. Letter I. Positive mood. Release those happy hormones. Exercising releases endorphins which will boost your mood. Cheerleading in particular is all about portraying a positive outlook with upbeat chants, and a huge smile which is sure to leave you in a good mood. Common cheerleading injuries. Common injuries that can occur in competitive cheerleading include muscle strains in the hip, lower back, and legs. Ligament sprains in the knees and ankles. Finger and hand injuries. Among the more serious, sometimes season-ending, injuries are fractures, including those of the spine, dislocations of the shoulder or elbow. Causes of cheerleading injuries. Performing skills too difficult for the cheerleader's current level. Poor conditioning or training. Poor nutrition. Lack of proper equipment for training or performance. Lack of experience with the sport or a particular skill. Poor flexibility. Lack of good core and abdominal strength. 
lack of good arm and shoulder strength. Safety tips to prevent injury. Number 1. Proper warm-ups and stretches. A good warm-up and physical conditioning are just as important in preventing cheerleading as in every other sport. Practice should begin with a light cardiovascular warm-up, followed by proper stretching of the shoulders, wrists, thigh and hip muscles. This will help provide flexibility for tumbling skills and stunts. Number 2. Good technique. Another way to prevent injuries in cheerleading is to make sure the cheerleader has learned the proper technique for basic skills before trying more difficult ones. Without a good foundation in the basics, performing higher level tumbling and stunts not only is more difficult, but also unsafe. When learning new skills, cheerleaders should take the following safety precautions. Practice in an area that has enough space away from potential dangers such as walls, pillars, or crowds. Always use gymnastic mats to ensure a softer landing from a fall or drop during a stunt. Use extra spotters. Number 3. Different surfaces. Cheerleaders perform on different surfaces, including football fields, running tracks, gymnasium floors, foam floors. Each surface has a different amount of cushioning and degree of levelness. Tumbling and stunts should be practiced on every surface. In addition, when moving from outdoor football court to indoor basketball court, it's best to decrease the intensity of the training. This allows the body to adjust to the firmer, less forgiving surface of the basketball court. Number 4. Equipment. Cheerleading is a competitive sport, and like in most sports, more equipment is needed as cheerleaders advance to higher levels of competition. Palms, megaphones, uniforms, bags, floor mats, landing mats, safety pits, and cheerleading accessories are among the most important gear for cheerleaders. Having the proper gears means preventing some injury from coming. I hope you learned something in our lesson for today and apply what you have learned in actual performance task. See you again in our next video. Thank you for listening.